Hey everybody, I'm Paula Dean, and guess what? I want y'all to get your churn ready because today we're gonna have an ice cream social and I'm gonna make some of the best ice cream and sorbet that y'all have ever tasted. First, I'm gonna start off with a savory butter pecan ice cream and a sweet, sweet strawberry sorbet. And while they're freezing, I'm gonna be making some crunchy ginger cookies and Maggie's decadent brownies. So y'all stick around. This show makes me want to pure skip. Do you know why? Because it's all about sweet stuff. Today I'm going to be doing an ice cream social and I'm going to be doing some goodies that are so tasty along with the ice cream. I've got my uh, basket of strawberries that we're going to be using in a few minutes, but why don't we get started with our ice cream. The first ice cream I'm going to make today is a butter pecan. And so I'm gonna start by melting a tablespoon of butter. I'm gonna to toss the pecans in there and let them toast. And I'm gonna watch them carefully because we don't want them to scorch. Because if they scorch, they're no good. So we're just gonna let those lightly brown right there. And then I'm gonna drain them on a little paper towel. I'm gonna come over here and I've got three cups of whole milk. Not 2%, not that diet stuff. Three cups of whole milk. And to that, I'm gonna add one can of evaporated milk. And now understand that that is evaporated, not condensed milk. Some people will get those two confused. All right, and I'm gonna add to this a small pack of vanilla pudding. You can see our ice cream is gonna be really, really a nice, pretty yellow. Ooh, that's smelling so good. I'm gonna add a cup of sugar. And a teaspoon of vanilla. All right, now today I'm using one of the little counter ice cream makers. Uh, you can use this in that type of ice cream maker or you can use it in a regular ice cream churn. So our bowl has been in the freezer for 24 hours. We're gonna turn it on, and this is very important that you turn your machine on first because if you pour your ice cream mixture in, it will immediately freeze to the sides of it and then your, your blade won't go around. I'm just gonna slowly pour our ice cream mixture into the freezer. All right, so I'm gonna let this churn until the ice cream really starts to thicken. So while that's churning, let's come on over here. I'm gonna be making a strawberry sorbet. All right, I'm gonna add two cups of sugar to two cups of boiling water, and I'm gonna mix those up. And then we're gonna need to let this cool after that sugar entirely melts in that hot water. And I've got some back here that has already melted and cooled. All right, so let's come over here and we'll put our strawberries in our food processor. And I'm just gonna puree them. Ooh, they smell so good. And now I'm gonna add a fourth of a cup of fresh lime juice. And that's gonna give it a real tart taste. All right. Okay. All right, we've got our strawberries pureed up nice, ooh, nice and fine. All right, now I'm just gonna bring them over here and I'm gonna run them through this sieve and this is gonna 
remove all the seeds that the strawberries have. And I'm gonna help it along by stirring them around. Strawberries are a beautiful color, aren't they? So I'll just save that. Now to our strawberry juice, I'm gonna add a half a cup of white corn syrup. And I'm just gonna stir that around. All right, now the last thing I'm gonna add is our simple syrup that we made earlier and we allowed it to cool. So our ingredients are nice and cold. You can make this earlier in the day, put it in the fridge if you want to. And I'm gonna transfer this to a measuring cup because I don't trust myself to hit that hole with the ingredients in, a, in the bowl, so. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. I'm gonna slowly add my strawberry puree. All right, there we go. That's gonna be wonderful. So now it's time to add the butter pecan to our vanilla base. All right, so I'm just gonna slowly add these and let the machine have a chance to mix those in. So this just looks great. So I'm gonna take a minute to clean up, get everything out of the way because I can't hardly wait to taste this ice cream and this sorbet. So while I'm cleaning up, grab you a cup of coffee and I'll meet you back here in like two minutes. Hey, y'all. <laughs> I'm just fixing to put this in the storage containers and throw it in the freezer. All right. So I'm just gonna pour this in the container and I'm gonna throw it in the freezer and let that get nice and hard. And I've already got a strawberry sorbet poured up and you can see it's really, really loose. It's I really poured it up in a soft serve state because I'm gonna put it in the freezer and let it finish hardening. And I've already got some that, that's gotten hard. You can see what it looks like. And you can see how pretty that is and how fine. Oh gosh, I can't wait to taste it. But I think I'm gonna taste this one because it's still nice and soft. Mmm. Gives me brain freeze. Mmm. Oh my gracious. Mmm. If I don't put this up and get it out of my way. I'm not gonna finish with these other two things that I wanna show you. So I better put this away. I'll just wind up standing there eating ice cream for the next 30 minutes and all the sponsors will cancel and then I won't have a show, but I'll be nice and full. <laughs> all right. I wanna show you a wonderful ginger cookie. It's gonna be so, so good with our butter pecan ice cream. Now I'm gonna start with three-fourths a cup of shortening. I'm gonna add a cup of sugar. I'm gonna add one egg. And a fourth of a cup of molasses. Oh, it smells so good. I love molasses. Mmm. Gosh, it almost tastes like a strong cane syrup, it's so good. All right, now we're just gonna take these ingredients and we're gonna blend them up real good. Last, it took it a while. You can see what a nice rich color that molasses turned this into. Now we're gonna come over here, I've got two cups of all-purpose flour. I'm gonna add two teaspoons of baking soda a teaspoon of cinnamon, a teaspoon of ginger, and a half a teaspoon of cloves. 
and a pinch of salt. Now I'm just going to stir this up and we're going to dump it over into our shortening and molasses mixture that we've got over here. Just going to give that a little stir. All right, I'm going to try to sling that batter. Why well, am I slinging it on y'all? <laughs> okay, here we go. All right. Now I'm going to take these and I'm going to roll them into a small ball, a little larger than a marble. And I've got some just plain granulated sugar right there. I love my ice cream. All right, now I'm just going to toss these around in the sugar. Okay, I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees and we're going to bake these for about 12 minutes. And while those are baking, I want to come over here and show you Maggie's decadent brownies and they are decadent. Now I've got me a 13 by 9 by pan that's been greased right here. Got my two sticks of butter and my four squares of semi-sweet chocolate melted. So I've turned off the fire. And to that, I'm going to add two cups of granulated sugar. And I'm going to add one cup of all-purpose flour and a teaspoon of vanilla. And I'm going to just mix that up. And I think I'm going to take it off the heat because I don't want it to cook my eggs. That's a lot of chocolate. Looks and smells delicious. All right, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to add my four eggs. Okay, so we got our four eggs in there. I'm just going to mix those up good. I'm going to pour that into our prepared pan, and we're going to put it in a 350-degree oven, and we're going to bake it for about 25 minutes. Well, we ain't finished with them yet either. When we come back, I'm going to show you how I finish them up or how Maggie finishes them up, and we're going to be tasting those wonderful ginger cookies. So I'll see y'all back in a couple of minutes. So, y'all look at what I got. <laughs> ginger cookies. Don't they look good? I love the cracks in them. I gotta find something to put them on. Oh, these look delicious. And hear them, they're already crisp as they're hitting the plate. I can tell that they're gonna be really nice and crunchy. Oh, they're gonna be perfect with that ice cream. All right, you're probably saying, well, those brownies don't look so decadent to me, Paula. Well, let me show you the really decadent part of these brownies. Well, this is like deja vu, because in this bowl, I've got two more sticks of butter and four more squares of semi-sweet chocolate. So those that are counting, <laughs> this brownie now has one full pound of butter in it, four sticks. All right, I've got that melted, so I'm going to turn that off. Now I'm going to bring it over here. This is going to be like our icing for these brownies. I'm going to use a half a cup of an egg substitute, a pasteurized egg. I'm going to pour that in there along with some vanilla and one box of confectionery sugar. It's just one little box, y'all. All right, we're gonna mix that up. Most frostings do call for a whole box of confectionate sugar, but 
I have to tell y'all, most brownie recipes don't call for four sticks of butter. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna add four cups of marshmallows. And I'm gonna stir them quickly because I don't want them to melt. I want you to be able to see them. And this particular recipe reminds me so much of my Wilmington Island marsh mud cake. Gosh, it's so good. All right, well, let's take our brownies out of the oven. All right, let's take our brownies out. And now I'm just going to pour this icing on top of them. <laughs> Maggie's Decadent Brownies. I think the name suits the recipe. All right, now I'm going to just spread that over. Look at that. Yum. All right, I'm going to take this brownie. I'm going to let it cool, and then I'm going to stick it in the refrigerator. But I'm going to just sit him back here. Get him out of my eyesight so I won't be tempted. I just adore melted chocolate. Ooh. Now I've got one that's cooled back here waiting on me. So let's cut this one and see how it's going to look. I'm going to make four lines of brownies. Gonna go to something a little bit smaller to get that first piece out with. Margaret, Joe, I think you ought to be ashamed of yourself, girl. Those look wonderful. But you all know what I want to taste. I want to taste that one back there that's hot and the chocolate's all melted. And since this is my show, I think I can do what I want to. Look at that, y'all. Look at it running down that spoon. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. So y'all give me a minute. Excuse us. When we come back, I'm gonna show you how to turn a snowball into a delicious ice cream. nice tips for y'all today. I know you're thinking, Paula, what are you doing with that big old bowl of snow in front of you in Georgia? Well, believe it or not, once in a while, a freak thing will happen. Well, in 1973, we had a huge snowstorm. We had 17 inches of snow. And there was a housekeeper that lived across the street. It was a, doc a widow doctor. And he had two little boys and, and made us a big old bowl of snow ice cream. It was the best thing I ever put in my mouth. Hadn't had any since 1973. But I'm gonna show y'all how Eddie Mae made it. She went out and got a big bowl of snow. She took a can of condensed milk and poured it into that snow. And she added some vanilla flavoring. and she just mixed all that up. And I tell y'all what, I couldn't believe that snow could taste so good. But how wonderful is that ice cream? Just doesn't get any better. And Eddie Mae was probably in her late 50s or 60s, so bet she's no longer with us, but Eddie may just know wherever you are. 
I think about you and that snow ice cream that day. <laughs> it's just the best stuff in the world. Look, it's better than any ice cream you'll ever eat. Thanks, Eddie Mae. Y'all, I have to say that I love my work. Every show that I do, I love. But some, I have to tell you, I really love a little bit more than others. And today's show is one of those. Between the butter pecan ice cream and the strawberry sorbet and the ginger cookies, and for goodness sakes, Maggie, those decadent brownies are unbelievable. But I have to tell you, the thing that I enjoyed doing most today, Eddie May's snow ice cream was my very, very favorite today to make and to eat. And I hope you'll enjoy all the other recipes we've made today. And as always, I've loved every minute that I've spent with y'all. I thank you for coming. And until next time, y'all, I send you love and best dishes from my kitchen to yours.